How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today we're going to go ahead and do a review and some swatches of a palette that I had shared with you guys in one of my hauls. Um, I did purchase several different palettes and um, I did promise to do some maybe uh, looks or get ready with me or just some reviews and swatches. So with this one here I'm just going to do a review and some swatches and um, I have used it several times now. I am wearing the colors on my eyes right now so I did work with it today and it's the Too Faced Sugar Pop yeah Sugar Pop palette <laughs> and um, this is relatively one of their newer palettes that just came out um, I believe it's limited edition I'm guessing I'm thinking it's limited edition I'm not 100% sure on that um, but of course you can purchase anywhere that they do uh, sell Too Faced products um, and I believe the price range is around $36 if I'm not mistaken. I will double check on some of that stuff and I can put links and different things down below um, but I'm thinking it's somewhere around there. So um, you know how it is Too Faced always has such gorgeous packaging or cute packaging whichever. Um, in this case I guess I would say it's more cute uh, it says Sugary Sweet Eyeshadow Collection, and it has some um, macaroons on there, as you can see. It's their typical tin that they're doing now for a lot of their palettes, so it is pretty durable. And, of course, as in all of them, they have the uh, little booklet that gives you some different uh, eye looks and everything. You have a nice mirror here which I appreciate because in the older packaging they didn't always have the mirror um, so yeah you have the different looks and different ideas here my cat's right next to me so if you hear some noises that is Simon alright and the colors in here are pretty nice bold colors um, I know a majority of people are kind of afraid because um, they do have some like glitter uh, flecks of like glitter and um, maybe shimmer mostly a lot of them they may have a couple that have shimmer there's one matte and then the some of the other ones do have some glitter I'm not bothered by that obviously if you're somebody that is bothered by that or don't like that kind of stuff this isn't going to be a palette for you um, you know uh, but I I love my colors I I like to play around with anything and give it a go and try and see what kind of looks I can come up with. The eye look I came up with today is with some of the pink stay there lappy. <laughs> um, I used uh, strawberry ice which is in the middle here it's a pink shade like a very soft lavender well not pink but lavender pink. I put that all over on my lid and just used it as a base um, I used Blackberry, which is a matte shade, in the um, crease area along with uh, Sugared Violet. And then I did use the Bubblegum Pink um, on each side and kind of worked it in there. And then um, the only shadow I didn't use from this that I did put a little bit on my lid um, in the center of the bubblegum pink. The bubblegum pink I put on each side and then put in the center I put um, expensive pink from MAC. I did put that there. Um, I was trying to put strawberry ice but strawberry ice wasn't giving me the look I was looking for unfortunately. I mean the blue raspberry I did put at the uh, water waterline, not waterline, below the lash and did the pop of blue that's pretty something I really like to do and it's kind of the trend now too but that's the color with the uh, pink and purpley plums and just everything so that's the look I came up with with it you know, pretty much you can do what you want. Uh, they do have it set up where it's called um, Sweet and Spicy and it, you can use these three shades here. 
The next one is Sugar Plums, and that's the straight on across there. And then Candy Coated, which is uh, straight along there. Um, you can do that, you know, obviously you can do whatever you really want. You don't have to go in order. You can mix and match and just come up with your own looks, which a lot of times that is what I do. I will sometimes try out um, a set like how they show here, but a little bit being familiar with um, the colors in the palette itself. So um, I will go ahead and do some swatches of the shadows. Hopefully you'll be able to see uh, some of the colors, but I do think the colors in here okay, are very So the pretty. first one, um, we're going to go in the row of the sweet and spicy. So I'm going to start here and then go across. I'll show you the palette up close. So you can see the palette up close. I'm sure you've probably seen some people show this already, but... So the first color is Rock Candy. Which, I'm going to put that on my... Is Rock Candy. And it has, like, you know, some glitter particles. Honestly, for me so far, I'm not seeing any fallout with it. And I'm not having a problem... I mean, I'm not seeing any fallout, and I didn't do anything underneath to clear up anything. Um, and I'm not having a problem where it's like real glittery or lots of glitter on my eyelids. It's almost like the, look, like the glitter that you see doesn't really transfer onto the eyelids or something. I don't know. So there's Rock Candy. It's a beige yellow color. Uh, the macaroon, macaroon or macaron or how do you say that, is very pretty. It's an orangey, corally color, which just beautiful color. Love it. There it is there, if you can see it on my finger. And then right next to it is called Malted uh, Milk Ball. It's this chocolatey brown color. It kind of has more shimmer to it. The other two had like kind of glitter and this one has like um, shimmer to it. So that's Malted Malted Milk Ball. So there's the three shades there. Now here when I'm doing this it does seem a little bit powdery. Well, the one that seems powdery is Rock Candy when I swatched on my hand. But there you go, you can see the colors there. Then we go to the next row, which is Sugar Plums, right here. And like I said, this is, um, the first color is Strawberry Ice, and it's kind of like a lavender pink color. It's very pretty. I really like it. So there it is right there. I'm not sure if you can pick up the lavender pink color you might be able to the next one is sh uh, sugared violet that's this one here so the next one sugar violet very pretty purple color mm -hmm. and then the one on the end there is Blackberry, and it is the only matte in the whole palette. So there they are right there. Not sure how well you'll see the strawberry, because I started them from here, plus the strawberry, and on. Okay, and then the last row The last row, they're calling it Candy Coated um, And I haven't really used some of the colors Well, I think I've used almost every color except, except the Peach Fuzz, which is this here So I haven't had the pleasure to use Peach Fuzz And it does look pretty, but it's very sparkly and glittery so I don't know how that one's working like I said I've tried the other ones and so far they've been okay for me so yeah the first one's peach fuzz 
don't even know if I've swatched it, so this might even be my first swatch with it. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so that's Peach Fuzz. The next one is Bubble Gum, that beautiful pink color. It's a little bit more. There's Bubble Gum. And then Blue Raspberry, which I just love blues anymore now. Isn't it funny? I never used to get into those kind of colors, and then now it's like I just love me some nice aqua blue color. So there they are there, the three of them there. Yeah, Peach Fuzz kind of goes on for me like a little powdery, sort of like the rock candy one. The other shades are not bad, although, I mean, like, I was wiping my hands, so I don't know with me wiping my hand I did anything, but, uh, there they are there. Some nice, pretty colors to play around with. Um, obviously sometimes some of these kind of palettes are fun to have, like, if you have, um, some neutral palettes and you just want to add, um, some pop of color. Um, I mean, obviously if you don't want to use the, um, the pink or the blue, um, on your lids or anything like that, or even if that, <clears throat> well, the purple is pretty good if you put it in the inner corner and everything, but, um, you know, for these two colors here, if you're a little, you can always just go ahead and work with them and put them <clears throat> on the lower, like under the lower lashes and just kind of make the pop of color there. You don't, you know, you don't have to put it on your lid if you don't want to. Um, you know, just with any of them, really. But, I mean, if if you're into the colors, you're into Too Faced, um, or you've been eyeing this up, um, I think it's a really nice palette. There is, between Rock Candy and Peach Fuzz, just some... Uh, like I said, when, you swat, when I was swatching this little powdery, I haven't found any problems putting them on, because I have used Rock Candy, and then today I used Strawberry Ice. The only thing with Strawberry Ice... Um, I was just hoping it would be a little more uh, opaque because I wanted it to be in the center of my whole eye look, like kind of have that uh, strawberry ice there, that lilac -y pink, but it didn't work that way so I ended up, like I said, I put expensive pink and just played with it a little bit and put it right there and, and uh, put it on top of my, my lids. So, but all in all, I think it's a really nice palette. So, if you're on the fence about this one, and you're not too big on, because like I said, there is glitter, um, but with the Makeup Forever, they're pretty much mostly all shimmer. I mean, in that one, you really don't get a matte. I don't even think in the second one you get a matte. Um, and in here, like, the only matte you really do have to work with is blackberry so those would probably be downsize i was down side sorry what do i always want to say downsize that would be the downside of it all is blackberry is the only matte and pretty much you'd almost be using it all the time as your crease or transition so you'll pr pretty much go through it quite a bit i would think i mean you, you can use the other colors but i'm just it's really matte so Let's just keep that in mind, I guess, too, but it's, if you're, you know, like me, you love Too Faced, um, you want some color, just, you know, or you, you were curious on this, I mean, I hope this video was helpful for you and seeing the colors and everything and what I've been doing with them, like I said, I've been using it, like, several times now, it's my fourth time, and I do enjoy it, um, I can't wait to get a hold, I'm not going to do it until, because my birthday month is June, that's my birthday month. So in my birthday month, yeah, I'll probably wait see me out here. Oh, he's just don't mind the mess. My son had all his stuff everywhere for when he was getting ready to pack because he's in Wisconsin. Thank you, baby boy. Anyway, beauties, I'm just rambling on. So yeah, th thank you so much, beauties, for watching. I so much appreciate it. If you did like this video and you did maybe find it helpful or anything. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, um, also share the video and, and everything, give it a thumbs up, uh, so appreciate it, it would help me out very much, 
And also, if you're not subscribed to me, I would love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe buttons down below. Um, it's free, you know, you don't have to pay any. Just come and join me each week and see what goods I have to talk about or share with you. And, um, you know, just join me each week. I don't have set times, but I'm here each week. And as always, ladies, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.